All right, we are in the last piece of Algebra 2, 1132. Yippee, yippee. And I have to tell you, this is the weirdest concept that you will encounter this whole year. Um, matrix and plural of a matrix is matrices. And there's some mathematical... You might ask yourself as we go through this, and I'm sure <clears throat> you would think, when am I ever going to use this? And the answer is you probably won't. Um, it does actually get used. I was just looking at Khan Academy, and they actually have several lessons about the concepts that are in here. It is something that is taught. Um, in the Saxon math curriculum that I'm very familiar with, it's not introduced even until the end of advanced math. It's not covered at all in Algebra 2. In real life, it's primarily used in um, computer programming. And there are some other electronics kind of fields where it might be used. So application-wise, yeah, I can't convince you you're going to use it for life, but I can tell you it's kind of like doing a puzzle, okay? And uh, the math part of it is not hard. It's just following some procedures. We're basically just going to be doing adding and subtracting, multiplying and dividing. So the math part of it is super simple. It's just that it gets a little complex in the, uh, in the way they lay it out and the types of answers you're coming up with. Now, I will tell you this too. Um, after we master the basics, matrices are sometimes used for solving, like when we have um, two or three equations that have two or three different variables, like x and y, x, y, z. And up to this point, we've always used substitution and elimination to solve it, right? But using matrices and following these steps and procedures that we're going to talk about in this piece, you can solve it immediately, well, immediately, just by following the steps of solving matrices and get the answer, okay? So with a lot less thinking. Which again, that's why it's an advantage for computers, because if they can program the computer to say, when we plug in these numbers, then you just follow these steps to come up with an answer, then they can throw a whole bunch of equations at the program in the form of a matrix, and then boom, out pops the answer, okay? So that's kind of, if you want to say what's the purpose, I would guess that's the purpose to uh, make it simpler for computers to uh, follow a formula and get to an answer. Well, let's talk about, we're gonna start off really simple, and that is a matrix is just an arrangement of numbers. <clears throat> I should open my pace again and just show this to you so you can see that there um, sometimes are two rows and two columns. We call that a two by two. They say two x two, two by two. Uh, there might be a two by three. We could have a three by three. There's even four by four, five by five, three by five. I mean, there's all kinds of, it's just how many rows, how many columns there are, that's all. Um, we're gonna talk first here about adding matrices and then similarly subtracting, okay? And to add them, we just take this position, upper left-hand corner, we add this position, okay? So, I mean, I could write out for you three plus one. I'm just going to write the answer four, okay? And then we go back and we take this position, four plus negative two is two. Negative two plus six is four. Five plus eight is 13. That's the answer. Okay, that's all you're doing. It's pretty simple. Like I said, it is weird, but it's simple. All right, let's do this one. Now this is subtraction, so we have to be careful. We start with the first one. <clears throat> five, take away two, subtract two, so we get three. Three minus negative four. Now that's where we're gonna be careful. Remember the rules for subtracting, and we have a negative, it becomes addition, correct? So that would be seven. 9 minus 11 is negative 2. Negative 4 minus 3 is negative 7. Okay? 
This one's not too hard. We're going to have a lot more interesting ones as we move ahead. But um, I think you should be able to now do all of the problems here on page three. They don't give you a lot of room for number five. Um, and I see one of them on here that you can't do at all. Okay, and they even tell you that in the directions. If the matrices cannot be combined, right, cannot be combined. So they have to have the same number um, in each matrix in order to combine them. All right, so if you have two that are off, one has you know four and the other has nine, you can't do it. All right, go ahead and do that. Like I always say, grade it as soon as you finish it. Thankfully, the score key has a solution guide as well. So if you get one wrong, you can follow the steps to see what you missed.